As I descended deeper into the cave, I knew she was right behind me, or at least I had faith that she was. But she was perfectly silent. The voices in my head, however, were a different story. The mental chatter and internal dialogue grew louder and louder. It's always seemed strange to me, the way thoughts arise within our minds as if they're not our own. So whose are they? Who is the creator? If thoughts arise, this proves the existence of a thinker. But maybe it's a mistake to say, I think, therefore I am. If I myself am not the thinker of these thoughts that arise, then the fact that thoughts arise does not prove that I exist. The proof of my existence is not that I think, but that I observe the thoughts as they arise. The fact that there is observation proves the existence of an observer. And so there is an observer and a thinker. And they don't seem to be the same entity. I found myself involuntarily playing memories over and over in my head. I watched them like a ghost, unable to take back what had been said or to say what had been left unsaid. It's always seemed cruel to me that we're forced to make the most critical choices of our lives while we're still young and foolish, and that we're only gifted with maturity and wisdom after it's too late to change the course that we set for ourselves as young fools. But I suppose it's only through the foolish mistakes of our youth that wisdom is able to impart her instruction. But this seems like another thing entirely. Who is this unseen accuser who uses our own thoughts and memories to torment us? And what is his secret purpose? These thoughts and memories seemed to flash into my awareness randomly. One seemed to trigger another through some complex web of free association. And as I found myself drifting in this sea of memory, I marveled at the realization that I was not the navigator of my ship. It was as if it was merely carried by unthinking currents or steered by some unknown captain. Were these thoughts that arose purely random, or was there a pattern? Was this thinker more like a random number generator, or the architect of a sophisticated algorithm? Was there a hidden agenda behind the sequences of images and memories being presented to me? What if I analyzed this stream of thoughts in the same way I might analyze the moves of an opponent in a chess match? Might I discover his strategy? If the stream is guided by some unseen force, then might I discover the true intention of that unseen force by following the stream and seeing where it leads? I continued my descent. I was determined to reach the innermost depths where I hoped to find an exit and escape with her. But was she even still with me? I couldn't look back to see if she was there. I had sworn not to. I stared straight ahead into the darkness. I think you're lost, I heard a voice say. I know where I'm going, I responded. But do you know how to get there? The voice asked. I'm following the stream, I answered. When I first discovered the mouth of the cave, I noticed this little stream running down into the cave from the brook outside. I reasoned that if I followed it, it would lead me to the heart of the cave. Think again, he said. The stream ends just ahead. It runs down into a narrow passage that would be impossible for you to enter into. I have to see it for myself, I replied. I'll show you, he said. We continued in silence through the darkness, following the underground stream until, just as he had said, it disappeared down a small passage, which was impossible for me to enter into. Don't worry, he said reassuringly. I know another way. I appreciate it, I told him, 
but I have to find my own way. I completely understand, he continued. But until now, you've been following the stream, haven't you? That's not really finding your own way, is it? That's different, I said. How? he challenged. It's no different. You followed the stream because you reasoned that it would lead you to your destination. But it has only led you to a dead end, it seems. So now, reason will lead you to follow me, since only I can show you the way. I guess you're right, I admitted. But who are you? I'm Deus Mundi, he answered, the god of this world. 